So in order to allow Facebook logins and commenting and other features, we have to set up a Facebook application. Now, you will have already been given a, an app ID and a reference that's going to go into the Facebook app, and we're also going to need another couple other pieces of information. For the moment, go to developers.facebook.com and come and log in and click Create New App. You're going to give your app a name. You don't need any namespace and choose a category that suits you the best. Uh, don't worry about that too much, it's not terribly difficult. Submit the capture best you can. And once you've created it, you'll need to provide 6.5 the app ID and the app secret. Click show to show the app secret. Once your app is live, you're going to need to do a couple other things to Facebook. So first of all, let's go to settings and let's put a name an email into the contact email part and save. In app details, you might want to add in a short description, tagline, a long description, some URLs, and maybe even a logo. That's important because when a user has to validate against Facebook, that gives them some confidence that they're doing something uh, that is legitimate. Under status and review, you'll want to say, let's turn this on. So you'll have to click yes and confirm. The application will all go green. And if you go back to the dashboard, it'll show that it's available to the public and to all users. So to complete this, there's two steps. First of all, if you're using the HTML5 version of the application, you're going to need to add the platform for the website. And you'll need to add in the mobile address as well. This allows the Facebook application to operate on a mobile web and the website rather than just inside of the app. Next, you'll want to add iOS. So you'll click Add Platform and iOS. And inside of your bundle, uh, we will have provided you with the bundle ID. So you paste that in. The ID for the iPhone will come from the URL of your application. You leave the URL scheme suffix, scheme suffix blank and put zero into the iPad Store ID. Finally, turn on single sign-on and leave deep linking off, and then hit save. After about 10 or 15 minutes, your application, if it is already live in the store, will work perfectly like a charm.